Hey, it's your boy George B. Thomas. I'm super excited. I'm in Florida. I'm at Impulse Creative Headquarters and I'm about to dive into HubSpot and HubSpot bots. That's right, messages inside HubSpot bots, being able to have conversations that are superhuman. Are you ready to do this? Let's go inside, let's get to work. Are you a HubSpot user looking for fun and interactive education that helps you be better at HubSpot? Then welcome to Sprocket Talk. All right, we're inside Impulse Creative. There's the computer, there's bots, there's the work. Let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial and show you guys and gals how to create amazing messages inside of your HubSpot bots. All right, so one of the things that you wanna be able to pay attention to when creating your HubSpot bot is being able to create a message and have that conversation. It really is one of the micro pieces. I'm gonna walk you through some mindsets in the beginning of this conversation that we're having. This is the main Sprocket Talk bot. And basically you see here that we're in the build section and we have the welcome message. So if we click on that, this flyout's gonna come out, it's gonna show us, need help with HubSpot, just let me know. And we're gonna get an example of when the bubble appears, this is exactly what will show up for the user. We can close this out or we can come down here and we can hit the save button. Now, the other piece of this is once they interact with us, what do we wanna say? And you can see here, we've got this named area of help. If I click on this, you have a place where you can nickname these actions that you are creating. And the message is an action. You wanna make sure that you name these something that makes sense that you're going to remember or that other team members will remember or understand when they come into this bot flow. The big thing is for you as you're creating this bot flow, you may need to get back to a section. And so if you know what it's named, it's easier for you to select that and then get back to it as you're creating the architecture of this conversation. In this case, we'll go ahead and close this out. But notice here too, I do want to point out that I'm saying thanks for visiting Sprocket Talk. I'm super excited to help you with your HubSpot needs. What area of HubSpot are you looking for help in? Notice I'm not asking for their first name. I'm not asking for their email. I'm not asking for anything that looks like, smells like a conversion point. I'm simply asking questions and preparing to add value at this point. So in this case, you see, I say sales, I say marketing, I say services or CMS. In this case, we're gonna go with HubSpot sales. So let's say they say HubSpot sales and notice I have it named HubSpot sales start because it is the start of a new conversation around HubSpot sales or the HubSpot sales hub. So now I say first the HubSpot sales hub can be amazing once you have everything dialed in. Do you mind if I grab your first name real quick? So what's cool about this, and we'll just open that up as we can see HubSpot sales start. We can see the multiple messages, and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. And then we're gonna see that we say collect user information, and then we say first name. Here's why you're here. You wanna know how to create a message, and you wanna know the things that you should pay attention to as you're creating a bot message. So it's relatively simple. You're gonna have this plus icon here, and you're gonna hit the plus icon and you're going to select the send message now here's where you're going to nickname it so we've just asked them their name so we want to interact with their name and move them to the next section so we'll say something like sales name interaction and now because we know their name because we waited for the first name what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and say thanks and then we'll do contact token we'll do a search for first name and we'll say insert so thanks Bob and we'll just do a period now here's where it gets interesting there'll be a slight pause and we'll add a new message and actually we'll make that say thanks Bob we'll come down here and we'll say contact token and we'll say uh, search for first name we'll get first name and we'll insert so we'll say Bob and we'll do a comma and we'll do a space so we need to realize we said HubSpot sales is great when everything's dialed in 
So let's go back to the conversation and say, Bob, what exactly do you need help with when it comes to dialing in the HubSpot sales tool? Now we're going to pause here. And I want you to realize that one thing that we've done is we've nicknamed our bot action. We have created a message, which is thanking Bob, which it might be Jenny or Susie. And then we've added another message bubble where we can continue on the conversation. Look, at the end of the day, you don't meet somebody and say, hi, my name is George B. Thomas. I work at Impulse Creative and I work on design development and bot creation. No, you pause and you breathe and you say things in certain ways so it feels like a conversation. So don't be afraid to break this up into multiple messages or talk bubbles as you go through this. What else can you do in this message area? Well, you can attach a file to an action. So if you wanted to deliver a PDF or some other type of file, you do have that ability. A lot of it though is going to be collecting some type of user input, but if you just wanted to make a statement, you could uncheck that, and then that would just be a statement that you would be able to make and then move on to the next message that you want to provide. What you can save it to a HubSpot property, so this can be a HubSpot property that is already existing, or it can be a HubSpot property that you would create custom before creating your bot um, and you could collect that information in here as well. Or you can do quick replies. And you saw this earlier when it was sales marketing services or CMS. And so in this case, I'm asking Bob, what exactly is he trying to get dialed in in the HubSpot sales tool? What I might do here is some quick replies on something like deals, snippets, templates, and I might even add a uh, other. And so now I have those deals, snippets, templates, and others that I can engage with. Now, what I can also do is I can disable free text input, or instead of the other, I could actually uncheck that and they could type something in. So if I hit save here, you can see that they can select from deals, snippets, or templates. But what I can do is I can preview it and we see here, okay, need help with HubSpot. Blah, blah, blah. You guys know the story. You've been along for the ride. I'm going to hit sales and then it's going to be boom. Here comes the bot. The bot is going to say, hey, HubSpot Sales Hub is amazing. Once you have everything dialed in, do you mind if I grab your first name real quick? I'm going to be like, sure, I'm George. And I'm going to insert that in. Now you're going to be like, thanks, George. And notice there's a pause. George, what exactly do you need help with? when it comes to dialing in the HubSpot sales tool. And deals, snippets, templates, ooh, it's not either of those. And notice I can write a message. Now I'm gonna close that for a second and I'm actually gonna come in here and edit this and I'm gonna say disable free text input and save it. And then if I come back in here and I preview this and I hit sales, and then it's going to be sending and it's going to ask me the next question. And of course, I'm going to say George here. And then you're going to see this says, thanks, George. And notice now here, I can't type in. So I have to pick deal snippets or templates. If you want them to type in, you leave that open. If you want them to pick one of your choices, you don't. Now what's nice from this is you can do some if then branches, but guess what? That's not why you are here. You were here to learn about how to add a message inside of your HubSpot bot. All right, there you go. Your first message inside of your HubSpot bots. Now remember, it's not about starting a conversation about conversion it's about starting a conversation about value so when you go into these messages use those additional bubbles make sure you're thinking in a human way and while you're doing that make sure you're doing some happy hub spotting